Hello, my name is Alicia Lee Kai Sing. You can call me by Alicia. I'm 19 years old and I'm a Malaysian Chinese. As given the fact that I was born and raised in Malaysia. As you can see, I'm a young woman talking, sitting right here and talking to you about myself. Yeah, I'm biologically female and in my heart I also recognize myself as a female. I was basically brought up by my grandparents until the age of nine. I spent most of my childhood with my grandmother. As you as many people would say that elders generation have their own ways of thinking and always own, own ways of living. My grandmother is is not an exception. She has her own rules of living. So growing up with her is is shaping me with a lot of personalities that she also have. Sometimes my mother will say that I'm as stubborn as my grandmother and I won't and I won't say no to that because I was basically brought up by my grandmother. It's very normal that I inherit some of her habits. So as a Malaysian Chinese, we often celebrate a lot of Chinese culture, a lot of festivals that Chinese festivals that that occur in the Chinese culture. In my family, we celebrate Mid Autumn Festival, Chinese New Year, and Tom Sweeping Day, Winter Solstice. Yeah, you name it, we all celebrate it also. In my mother's side of family, we all have some. We will have some barbecue on Mid Autumn Festival, and we go play lanterns together. And at Chinese New Year, we will wear some new clothes and go to visit our relatives day by day. And on Tom Sweeping Day, we will also go to visit our ancestors. Gravesite, gravesite, and kind of talk to them, and clean their gravesite. And um, with the Christian background I have, my whole family was Christian. Is Christian, so we also celebrate Christmas Day. In my mother's side of family relatives, we celebrate Christmas just like anyone. We will exchange gifts with everyone, and then we will have a nice family dinner. It's kind of a warming night for us. So, as a Malaysian, you might ask me that, yeah, you're Malaysian, don't you get affected by Malaysian culture? Yes, of course, I'm a Malaysian. I also, I will also be affected by Malaysian culture, such as like the way I talk. We all have the Malaysian, we have the Malaysian English slang when we talk like la, lo, le. Yeah, it's all affected in my talking. Also, we grew up as a Malaysian. You will understand that we grew up in a variety of foods such as roti canai, bak kut teh. Yeah. You might you might be used to have having different having friends from different races, but it's not me. From as a Chinese kid, I was in Chinese school when I was in primary school, and I was graduated in a Chinese secondary school too. So, for me, I really didn't have any friends from different races. But I often hear some stereotypes from my grandparents. It's kind of affecting me in some ways of thinking. But because people are always scared of something when you're not truly, when you're not truly, ah! um, getting no, getting to know what's really about it. So when I started my university life, I get to know how Malay, how Malays are, how Indians are, and how other Chinese are. It makes me want to know more about my country. It makes me love my country more than ever because I love this diversity of Malaysia that can make me have different friends and communicate with different language. So, as a Malaysian Chinese, Chinese culture emphasizes a very, a very val a value that is very emphasized is called manners. We treat others politely with. Some Chinese with some values that are passed down to our generations. I was taught young that I would I should keep eye contact to the person that I was speaking, such like just like I was talking to you. Yeah, with my eyes look at you. Yeah, and as if you're a Chinese, you you most likely to hear that when the adults are talking, do not interrupt. Children can't interrupt adults' conversation. So as a child, I was used to not interrupting every anyone. Um, no matter it's my friends or family, I also tend to listen to them um, finish their sentence, even if I wanted to interrupt. So, my in my primary school, I was taught to bow to my teachers like slightly, as a manners to greet my teachers. 
So I was used to that until today. I was I will still slightly bow a little when I see a teacher. Also, in Chinese, there's a saying that harmony in the family makes everything successful. So in my family, we all dislike argument. So we will try every ways to avoid all kind of arguments. Even it also affected me a lot of, in a way because it's my family, and I will avoid every kind of arguments. Even if it's in my friends, or my family, or it's in the, or it's a formal setting such as workplace or class. I also tend to avoid it because it's kind of scary to me. I don't like arguments. Yeah, so I was as a kid that was taught a lot of manners since young. I keep it. And I was obedient, so a lot of elders would uh, compliment me as a polite kid, and I would take it. Well, so growing up as a teenager, you get exposed to a lot of culture. Um, there are some culture that really affected me. The first one I would say is the Korean culture because I started to watch K drama since I was in secondary school. Yeah, when you're watching K drama, you're most likely to get in touch with a lot of Korean food. So I will introduce Korean food food up to my family. So in my family, we sometimes eat Korean food, and my mother will ask me to cook it. Well, it's not only Korean culture. There's a culture that's infected me very deeply. That is called is Taiwan culture. Um, there's a singer that I really really admire, which is Wu Qingfeng. Yeah, I have all his album right here. You can see my love for him. Yeah, I admire the way he writes lyrics. So, because of loving his skills of writing, and then, and this singer will introduce um his fans to different, different mu um music video directors or different singer friends or author or poets. It's making me getting a glimpse of what it's like in Taiwan culture, and it also um made me thought about my own hobby, which is. Love the love about words. I really love words since I was young, especially the Chinese words because a word can be very, can be a lot of meaning in it. It can be so elegant in so many ways. So I really found out my own, my own love for the for languages and words through Taiwan culture. Yeah. So basically, in short, you can see that, um, it's not only the family background with. Of mine that's affecting me in a lot of ways. It's the culture that I approach, such as the Korean culture and the Taiwan culture, and then the environments that I live in, such as my school, and the Malaysian culture that's affecting me. So I'm I'm very surprised to see that there are a lot of ways that we can get affected on our shaping our personal cultural profile. So. I'm really happy to have this assignment, so I can get a, to know more about myself. Well, I think this、um, wrap up wrap for today's video. So see you next time. Bye.